Hey everyone, welcome to Meeple Bits. Thanks for joining me today. In today's episode of Tabletop Simulator, we're going to go through the game Potion Explosion. This one is a community created mod, so it is available in the Steam Workshop. Links available in the description below. This one titled Potion Explosion Scripted by user Mad Ewok Herd. As always in the Tabletop Sim series, we're not going to go into a detail of how to play or strategies of the game, so please refer to a how to play video or the instructions for, uh, for those items. So go ahead and stay tuned as we jump right into this particular game. Hey everyone, welcome to Potion Explosion on Tabletop Simulator. I'm joined here by my table mate, and we're going to go ahead and jump right in and show you guys exactly how to use this particular mod for Tabletop Sim. Before we get started, let's go ahead and address all the different buttons and components that are available on the table. So you've got your general table, you've got your burners, uh, a nice completed potions area for up to four players. You've got a really neat um, section for the, uh, the potions or the, uh, the marbles that'll go in there. And then all these really nice crafted and detailed uh, potions available all over the board. Now, this one is scripted really well. So let's go ahead and look at what uh, is done for you and then what you, the players, are gonna have to manage, maintain, and control on your own. So to begin, I'm gonna go ahead and refer you guys to the notebook. Here is a pretty detailed setup instructions for really leveraging this particular mod. So huge kudos to the creators on that one for uh, putting this in here to really guide the users on what to do. So if you're here and you wanted to, uh, you know, take that next step on, on learning to play, down here, you're gonna go ahead and dictate the number of players that are gonna be seated at the table then you want to make sure that all players are seated at the table. Once ready, you can either A, select the potions and put them into this shuffle bag uh, per the number of players that you have for starter potions, or if you wanted to just uh, do a full script setup, then if you do the random potion types, that will also draw out the starter potions for you. So that's what we're going to do in this tutorial. So to begin, Step one, select random potion types. Well, step one is obviously take a seat at the table and then set up the number of players. From there, it's gonna go through and then figure out which ones are gonna be the starter potions. Now, this part is obviously manual because you as the player need to understand what to do next. So starting with the first player, and I guess, you know, that'll be me. You grab one potion and bring it to your burner. Then the next player is gonna grab a potion and then kind of in a rotisserie style or a snake style, they're actually gonna grab, the last player is gonna grab two and then it's gonna go back. So my table mates grab their two potions and then I'll grab the one that's left. Now there are some nice uh, you know, snap into position um, on the Bunsen burners, which are really neat. So once you've selected your starter potions, next come back down to the bottom and hit finish potion setup. And now some really cool animations are going to happen. It's going to go through, grab all the potions and put them into the shuffle bag. Then it's going to divvy them all out. So again, really nice animations on this. Really well done. I got to say, I'm definitely a fan of just kind of watching this thing set up. So once you're finished with that, set up the ingredients. And what that's going to do is it's going to go ahead and fill the marble tray. Again, really fun and lively animations on this one. Could the uh, creator have sped it up? Sure, but I don't know, it, it might've been a little less exciting. They've got these sweep buttons here, which will allow you to kind of, uh, you know, push over where any marbles need to go. You can also open the lid if you ever need to see up here for any particular reason. But what else has happened is it has dealed out the number of skill tokens per the number of players that are at the table. So to begin taking your turn, now here's where a little bit of the scripting is going to stop. And that's okay though, because the setup here was absolutely brilliant. But on your turn, you're going to grab a marble. So looking at what I need, I need some uh, yellows and some blacks, some reds and some blue. And I do see a good combination of yellow and black right here. So if I grab, say, this 
Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll grab this black one, put it in my hand, which triggers the explosion for these yellows, which then triggers the explosions for these blacks. Great. Not a bad first start. Now, as you noticed, those explosions weren't kind of automated for you. So again, you'd have to obviously do that in real life anyway, so no big deal. Now on your turn, you need to either place them, whoa. Here's where it gets a little tricky, is getting them into the, uh, the little kind of cup holders of your uh, potions, right? You gotta be kind of precise on this one. As you see, it kind of, I thought I had it, but it was up on the top, so be very mindful when, when placing these marbles in their little uh, cup trays. Now, once you've used all the marbles that you can use, you can either store any remaining ones or discard ones that you do not need. So I don't really know what I'm going to take, so I'm going to go ahead and store a black and a red, and I'll just discard this, uh, this other black one, like so. Then this is a completed potion, so I'll grab it down here. Uh, go ahead and grab my uh, marbles that have completed and return them to the dispenser. So I've got one completed potion, which I can then put down here in my sort of completed potions area. Now, as always, if you wanted to use, say, this potion, just mouse over it, and it'll give you kind of a, a helpful tool tip of what the potion does. Alternatively, there's uh, the rule book over on the side of the table. And then when you use the potion, just flip it upside down to no uh, note that it's been used with your F key. And then now that I've taken my turn, I'm going to go ahead and draw up another potion. And once doing so, I need to replace it from the bag around the table. And then the next player would go and take their turn as well. So while they kind of go through and, you know, handle that, um, really, that's the gist of this, guys. The little helper tokens are readily available for you right here. You do have to manually grab um, any marbles and then also their corresponding triggered explosions. Uh, here's your skill tokens, um, also very nicely done. Um, and, and really, all in all, guys, that, that's about it. This one is, is really well done and easy enough for, for anyone to use and ready to do potion explosion. So that'll do it for this one. Um, if you have any questions about this particular mod, please feel free to leave a comment in the description below. If you've enjoyed the video, uh, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Definitely appreciate the support. But until next time, thanks so much for watching.